Are you in the market for a small SUV? Well, we've got you covered because today we are counting down the top 10 small SUVs on the market for 2024 to help you make an educated buying decision. Let's get into it. Number 10. Number 10, kicking us off is the Toyota Corolla Cross. This has a consumer report rating of 7.4 out of 10. They're gonna have a starting MSRP of 23,610 USD, and it will go up to about 30,000 USD. Estimated fuel economy combined, your MPG is gonna be about 30 miles per gallon. It's comfortable, it's practical, and it has that Toyota reliability. You also get some generous safety features included with the Corolla Cross. Number nine is the Honda HRV with a Consumer Report score of 7.5 out of 10. This is Honda's smallest SUV, but you still get the reliability of the Japanese automaker. Starting MSRP is about $24,100, and they can go all the way up to $29,700 USD. You're gonna have a combined MPG of about 27 miles per gallon. It's sophisticated, and it is good looking inside and out. If you think that's good, just check out the rest of this list. Number eight, our Subaru Crosstrek. Century, essentially, it is just a high raised Subaru Impreza, which we all know is very popular. Also has a consumer report score of 7.5 out of 10. You can have an MSRP of 25,195 starting at the standard model. MPG, you're looking at about 27 to 29 MPG combined between city and highway. So pretty good fuel economy and you get a ton of active safety features, which Subarus is known for. Number seven is our Kia Seltos. Now Kia's kind of made a comeback in these uh, last handful of years, a little renaissance, so to speak. 7.6 out of 10 on the Consumer Reports rating for 2024. They start at 24,390 USD. Fuel economy, you could get as low as 26 miles per gallon or as high as 31 miles per gallon. So it all depends on which engine you choose. There's a ton of space. I have a full review of these cars on my channel. We're gonna link it in the description below. Lots of great technology coming out from Kia. Lots of fun styling. I love this car and I would certainly be considering this if I was looking for a small crossover SUV. Right above that is another Kia. At number six is the Kia Soul and it has a consumer report rating of 7.9 out of 10. It doesn't offer all wheel drive. However, you get a ton of space and this is kind of one of the last of the Mohicans here. Come on, Monte Kia, you have to find that voter. One of the few cars that is kind of like this style and like this shape, and I've said this a lot before, you either love them or you hate them. They can get as low as 19,890 for your MSRP pricing, and you'll have a combined MPG of about 30 miles per gallon. So pretty good. Stand out from the crowd with the Kia Soul. You've got a ton of space if you do those IKEA runs. Let's jump into number five. Number five is the Hyundai Kona with a consumer report score of 7.9 out of 10. Now this car isn't perfect, but it's pretty near close in this segment here. It offers a great combination of comfort, practicality, and space. You're gonna have a starting MSRP of 22,140 USD, and you'll have a combined MPG of about 30 miles per gallon. Number four, surprised to see this one on this list, but this is the Buick Encore GX. Consumer Reports rated this at 7.9 out of 100 in terms of their car buying and their rankings. So this is certainly cracking the top five for your top small SUVs on the market. Starting MSRP of 25,600 USD, and you can do about 30 miles per gallon. It's essentially an improved version of the Encore, which is a lot lower on this list better in terms of ride, space, and a classier design. Number three is our Mazda CX-30. 7.9 out of 10 in the Consumer Reports ranking. It's sporty, it's sophisticated, and it's affordable. 22,950 is the standard starting MSRP, and you'll have a combined MPG of about 27 miles per gallon. Certainly glad that that's in the top three. I'm a big Mazda fan, I'm a big Japanese maker. It's got style and comfort on the road. I've been in these, it's a little extra small compared to some of the competitors in this market. Like if you sit in this and you sit in the Kia Seltos, this certainly feels like a different vehicle, but 
This car will have reliability and technology and styling all in one. Number two is the Chevy Trailblazer. Now I was excited to see the Trailblazer come back when they brought it back and obviously the consumer reports don't lie. Eight out of 10 as a consumer report ranking score. Chevy has done a great job with the new Trailblazer. Now it isn't the most fuel efficient SUV. You'll have a combined MPG of about 28 miles per gallon, but with a starting MSRP of 22,100, this is certainly a car that I would recommend you look at if you're looking for a small crossover. I've never been kind of a domestic manufacturer guy. I would consider some of the other Japanese cars on this list. Before we get to our number one, let's talk about a few honorable mentions that didn't make this list. Obviously, I had to throw this one on here. That is the 2024 Nissan Kicks. Funky, adorable little crossover. We also have the Hyundai Venue. Should have maybe made the top 10. Great value, perfect for road trips. We're also going to look at the Fiat 500X. I'm not a big fan of Fiat, but Consumer Reports ranked it at number 14 on their list. And then we have the Jeep Renegade also deserves an honorable mention. Number one, this one shocked me, but apparently the Volkswagen Taos is number one according to Consumer Reports. Their smallest SUV is a big deal from Volkswagen, apparently. I've never really driven one, but the numbers don't lie. It has an MSRP of 24,155. You'll get about 28 miles per gallon or maybe around 30 miles per gallon. It's got plenty of modern tech, all new safety features, German engineering, and is pretty spacious for this segment. So that's our list, guys. Comment what you guys think of the small crossover SUVs. Are you guys looking to purchase any of these vehicles? Have you driven any of these vehicles? Do you own any of these vehicles? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Where does your car rank? Was there any SUVs we missed that deserve to be on this list? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.